Ground Hawk Day, 1993. A weatherman is reluctantly sent to cover a story about weather forecasting red, as he calls it. This is his four years on the story, and he makes no effort to hide his frustration. On working the following day, he discovers that it's Ground Hawk Day again and again and again. First, he uses this to his advantage. Then comes the realization that he is doomed to spend the rest of eternity in the same place, seeing the same people do the same thing every day. Excellent comedy and a great story. Groundhog Day was a wonderful movie. I really liked the plot. It was very interesting with Phil Connor, Bill Murray. Relieving the same day repeatedly. Probably right here. Obviously, the day he kept relieving was Groundhog Day. It was so funny seeing his reaction to the same things happening and how he memorized them as time went on. I really enjoyed the relationship that he and Rita Hanson, Andy McDowell, developed throughout and how it leads to something romantic. Earlier on, you wouldn't have expected this to happen. I loved how much fear changed throughout the film and how relieving the same day made him into a better person. It showed a lot of growth. You don't want to rush back. There were I, lots I of funny moments in this, on. as Bill Murray did an awesome job. I also yeah, liked the character uh, Ned Ryerson, mm -hmm. Stephen Bolowski. Any scene that he and Phil interacted mm -hmm. in was great. Overall, our rate Groundhog Day is 10 out of 10. I love it. Estrello. 10 out of 10. I'll make you smile Best again. romantic comedy oh, ever. Yeah, I'm your Let's face it, everyone's a sucker for romantic comedies. So this will be but this one is something special. This movie has as much charm as it has so, fight. Thanks to a fantastic script and Murray's excellent too. performance. Never dull or nice cheesy. Energy. This Indeed. wonderful Indeed. fantasy Indeed. tale just hits all the right oh. notes. If anyone knows a better rom com, please name it. I mean, what other romantic companies are there where the book's happiness gets too sunny and you just have to laugh? I've watched Ground Park Day countless times and, without a doubt, I will watch it again and again. What's the matter, Phil? Or for as long as I keep walking up to that nerve wreck. Great. Do. Would you help me with my pelvic tilt? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. You get your sleep. <laughs>
It is so good to see you. <laughs> Watch out for that. I loved how much Phil changed throughout the film, and how relieving the same day made him into a better person. It showed a lot of growth. There were lots of funny moments in this, as Bill Murray did an awesome job. I also liked the character, Ned Ryerson, Stephen Bolowski. And it seemed that he and Phil interacted was great. Overall, I rate Groundhog Day in 10 out of 10. I loved it. 10 out of 10. Best romantic comedy ever. Let's face it. Everyone's a sucker for romantic comedies. But this one is something special. This movie has as much charm as it has bite. Thanks to a fantastic script. And Murray's excellent performance. Morning. Never dull oh, or cheesy. The this wonderful fantasy oh tale just hits really all the right notes. Hey. And if oh, anyone knows a better rom com, oh. please name it. <laughs> I mean, what other romantic comedies are there oh, where the protagonist is on the side and you just have to laugh? Did I sleep well? I've watched Groundhog Day countless times, and, without a doubt, I will watch it again and again. Or for as long as I keep walking up to that nerve-wracking songs by Sonny and Cher. Priceless. My vote, 10 out of 10. Hey, Phil! Now don't you say you don't remember me because I sure as heck fire remember you, old no, buddy. Well, uh, to say the truth, Nettie, I'm not feeling real well. We Bing again! You are sharp as a tack today. Do you have a guy to feel? You ain't got any, am I? <laughs> Watch out for that first step. It's a doozy. <laughs> I need someone to give me a good, hard slap in the face. Something's going on. I don't know what to do. Are you drunk or something? I'm having a problem. I may be having a problem. Let's just do this, Phil. Then we'll talk. And that must mean that we're up here at Gobbler's Knob. You can expect. Sport. I know there's a blizzard. When are the long? Oh. Hello? Mm. 
Ground Hawk Day, 1993. A weatherman is reluctantly sent to cover a story about weather forecasting red, as he calls it. This is his four years on the story, and he makes no effort to hide his frustration. The following day, he discovers that it's Ground Hawk Day again and again and again. First, he uses the then comes the realization that he's doomed to spend the rest of eternity in the same place, seeing the same people, do the same thing every day. Excellent comedy and a great story. Groundhog Day was a wonderful movie. I really liked the plot. It was very interesting with Phil Connor. Bill Murray, relieving the story day repeatedly. <laughs> Obviously, your bus the day he kept relieving was Groundhog Day. Because of the blizzard. It was so funny seeing his reaction to That's the same things saying, happening and how he memorized them as time went on. I really enjoyed the relationship right, that he blizzard. and Rita Hanson you know and Andy McDowell developed Mr. throughout. Pierce. And how it leads to, to something college, right? romantic. I mean, it wasn't Earlier on, you would have expected this to happen. So I loved how much feel changed throughout the film, and how relieving the same day made him into a better person. It showed a lot of growth. I was in the Virgin Isle. At there were lots of funny moments in this, as Bill Murray did an awesome job. Ryerson, Stephen Bolowski, and it seemed that he and Phil head. interacted in was great. Overall, I rate Groundhog Day a 10 out of 10. I loved it. 10 out of 10. Best romantic comedy ever. Let's face it. Everyone is a no, no, but this one is something special. This movie has Let's as much charm as it has light. Thanks to a fantastic story. What if there were no tomorrow? And Murray's excellent performance. That's true. Never dull or cheesy. We could do. The mailboxes, we could let Ralph drive. Hang on. Take it like a man. Phil, nice no, that's one I happen to agree with. No, yeah. Sometimes I think you just. For flapjacks? <laughs> Coffee, please. I hope so. Lori's moving in a little bit later, but the blizzard's gonna hit gone, nightstick. Oh no, no one like okay. that. Will there be? <laughs> hey, Phil Connor! Oh, Neil? Yeah? Ten years throwing caution to the wind. It's inspiring in a way. I don't worry about anything. The wretch, concentered all in self. Once he sprung, unwept, unhonored. Don't like poetry? I love poetry. <laughs> I just thought that was. Uh, are you guys ready? I thought you hated this town. Well, it's beginning to grow on me. What's your name? Lincoln in Pittsburgh. Was Mrs. Walsh. Mrs. Walsh, yeah. Nancy. Lincoln. 
Nancy Taylor, <laughs> Phil Connor. Nice. Wow, that's all Connors. I was short and I've sprouted. You look terrific. You look very, very true in Pittsburgh. Gosh, I should have known. That's great. Okay. Wish me luck. Good luck. I love you. I've always loved you. What's the best? で、ベルオッドレベリア。ステックスセンターのアナウンサーブライトのアナウンサー。はい。どうもなんかいいさ。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。
mommy money up pile. Well, do you like this? Well, you can. It just takes an awful lot of work. thing and kick you right out. Just <laughs> one minute. <laughs> Would you like to sit and stare at the fake fire? <laughs> okay. You know what? On second thought, I think we should. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Maybe I should go. <laughs> I'm not tired. We can see each other tomorrow. No. I mean, if you like it, stay for a while longer. <laughs> if you like it, stay for a while longer. I'm nice. Why not? I love you. Oh no. I can't believe I fell for this. Like chocolate and no milk. What are you doing? Are you making. This is love. Stop saying that. You must be crazy. That's for making me care about you. I haven't done this since I was a kid. It's fun. Oh, it's lots of kids. I want to adopt. I want to have my own kids. I want to have Come on, come on. Hey. Yeah. Hey, kids, yeah. come on. Yeah. Hey, here's a, here's a humble oh, thing. What's that? Hey. What's that? 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 Don't forget your booties because it's cold out there today. City of Guadalajara. What is Mexico? Leslie. What is Mexico? Correct. Oh, what is this? This South American lake mm. rains in clay when entering it's Lake Geneva. This river is clear blue upon... This is pitiful. A thousand people. Hog out in the east to eat it. You're hypocrites. All in... talk, huh? Am I upsetting you, princess? You know, you want to... Cold? It's going to be gray. Pennsylvania, blah, 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 blah. There is no keeps seeing his shadow. I don't see any other way out. Oh, good, Phil. Oh, good. Is he wrong with Phil? There's a lot of things really wrong with Phil. I just want you to remember we had a beautiful day together. He just smiled at me. Did you see that? I believe he did. <laughs> hey! Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> That's not bad for a quadruped. You gotta check your mirrors. Hey, just... hey, they're chasing us. Come on, make it. Don't drive angry. Don't drive angry. Hot dog. There's no way out except the way we came in. We gotta. What the hell is he doing? I don't know. Well, we mustn't keep our public waiting. Lake it up, eight foot in my 
You can take my word for it. This is 12 years of Catholic school talking. Possible. I'll come back. Doris, anything else in her life? She wants to see Paris before she dies. Oh, boy, what a... What? Lovely ring. This is Bill. He... <laughs> this is Gus. He hates his life here. He wishes he stayed in the Navy. Well, I've been around so long, he knows everything. Oh, okay. Well, who's that? Her? Nancy. She... Works in the dress shop and makes noises like a chipmunk when she dishes. Five, four, That's three, nuts. two, one. I know all about you. <coughs> you like producing, but you hope for more than Channel 9 Pittsburgh. Up in the mountains, there's a long wooden dock and a boathouse. Put that in. You're very generous. You're kind. I told you, I wake up every day, right? If you still can't believe me. I Please believe me. You've got to believe me. Head of the weather. Oh, Maybe it really is happening. I mean, how else could you know? So it's just to see what happens. Gee, this sounds like a science. It's more in the wrist than the finger. It's just got to <laughs> be the hat. Come on, go. Be the hat. It would take me a year to get. No. <laughs> That's not the worst part. Treat me like a jerk again. No. It's all right. I am a jerk. I even exist anymore. Well, sometimes I wish I had a thousand life. Gosh, you're an upbeat lady. <laughs> if it's not too boring, we could do it I'm again late. sometime. Is there something? Not until six. Oh! I would have pin. Oh, no. Only God can make a tree. And you get it. Kimmy, I'm not sure if you're going to get out of the The first time. I knew but they did. <gasps> but if I ever. Yeah. I'm the tar Sounds good. Let me give you a hand with the heavy stuff. No. It's a student now, but if you want to come back tomorrow, I can probably. Well, kind of want to get started. Slumbering in the open air. Oh, 
축하해요. 진짜 대박이다. Phil Connors, I thought it was you. Ned Rock. 근데 매력 오빠 지금 어디? I don't know where you're headed, but it's good to see you, Phil. 화제 화제 되겠는데? How's he? Well, he just passed. I want to see his chart. Excuse me. Uh, sir. It's hard down there at the bottom. Come on, Pop. Come on, Pop. <laughs> when Chekhov saw the long winter, but standing here among the people of Punxsutawney and lustrous winter, from Punxsutawney, it's Phil. Thanks. How was that for you too? Hey man, you touched me. I didn't know you were so yeah. versatile. I surprise myself sometimes. Phil, Aaron, Aaron's what Aaron's? Yeah. Um. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? You little brat. It's nothing, ma'am. I had the tie around the jack. Just because. He's having a heart attack. Do something. What should I do? I think that did it. <laughs> People just don't understand what is involved in this. This is an art form. Hey, would you be at all interested in seeing the image? Just drop a tip here. Okay. I can't see Rita. We were just gonna go to the party. You gonna go? Yeah, sounds like fun. I'm so proud. You again. It's nothing, ladies. He's the fastest jack in There you are. He may have. He was trying to swallow a whole cow. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, same old, same old. Just wanted to thank you for making Debbie go through with it and everything. All I did was fan. Here you go, kids. Congratulations. What is this? I could have been Pittsburgh anyway. Thank you, Mr. Connors. You're a real pal. Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess not. How does everyone know you? I mean, he's back. Oh. He can even help around the house again. Well, I'm sorry. What is going on? I really don't know. All the eligible bachelors come down in front, and you ladies, okay, so get out your pocketbooks and remember, it's all for ten bucks. It says you're mine. Hey, Buster, I got you. All right, now one of my ten bucks is mine. Twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. Three hundred. Any more bids? I think that's sold to the little lady for three hundred. He goes pretty tall. You don't see me face. Seventy-five cents. I bet a two bets. Let me go for the deal. 
I have not seen this guy for 20 years. He comes up ill. This is the best day of my life. Mine too. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> You paid top dollar. Oh, I'm done in the first round. That's it. Almost. I still have to put some cherry syrup on the top. And... How did you do that? I know you're f lovely. I don't know what to say. I'm happy now. Something is different. Good. But why are you still here? You said so. Okay. So I stay. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta check something. Oh, <laughs> Today is tomorrow. It happened. Phil, why won't you like this oh, last night? You did the best. Okay. Is there anything I can do for you today? Almost like me, wife's almost like being in love. That is ringing for me. Ground Hawk Day, 1993. A weatherman is reluctantly sent to cover a story about weather forecasting red, as he calls it. This is his four years on the story, and he makes no effort to hide his frustration. On working the following day, he discovers that it's Groundhog Day again and again and again. First, he uses this to his advantage. Then comes the realization that he's doomed to spend the rest of eternity in the same place, seeing the same people do the same thing every day. Excellent comedy and a great story. Groundhog Day was a wonderful movie. I really liked the plot. It was very interesting with Phil Connor, Bill Murray. Relieving the same day repeatedly. Obviously, the day he kept relieving was Groundhog Day. It was so funny seeing his reaction to the same things happening and how he memorized them as time went on. I really enjoyed the relationship that he and Rita Hanson, Andy McDowell, developed throughout and how it leads to something romantic. Earlier on, you wouldn't have expected this to happen. I loved how much feel changed throughout the film and how relieving the same day made him into a better person. It showed a lot of growth. There were lots of funny moments in this as Bill Murray did an awesome job. I also liked the character Ned Ryerson, Stephen Bolowski. Any scene that he and Phil interacted in was great. Overall, I rate Groundhog Day a 10 out of 10. I loved it. 10 out of 10. Best romantic comedy ever. Let's face it, everyone's a sucker for romantic comedies, but this one is something special. This movie has as much charm as it has bite. 
thanks to a fantastic script and Murray's excellent performance. Never dull or cheesy. This wonderful fantasy tale just hits all the right notes, and if anyone knows a better rom-com, please name it. I mean, what other romantic comedies are there where the protagonist commits suicide and you just have to laugh? I've watched Groundhog Day countless times, and without a doubt, I will watch it again and again, or for as long as I keep walking up. To that nerve-wracking songs by Sonny and Cher, priceless. My vote, ten out of ten. Groundhog Day, 1993. A weatherman is reluctantly sent to cover a story about weather forecasting red, as he calls it. This is his four years on the story, and he makes no effort to hide his frustration. On working the following day, he discovers that it's Groundhog Day again and again and again. First, he uses. This to his advantage, then comes the realization that he is doomed to spend the rest of eternity in the same place, seeing the same people do the same thing every day. Excellent comedy and a great story. Groundhog Day was a wonderful movie. I really liked the plot. It was very interesting with Phil Connor, Bill Murray. Relieving the same day repeatedly. Obviously, the day he kept relieving was Groundhog Day. It was so funny seeing his reaction to the same things happening, and how he memorized them as time went on. I really enjoyed the relationship that he and Rita Hanson, Andy McDowell, developed throughout, and how it led to something romantic. Earlier on, you wouldn't have expected this to happen. I loved how much Phil changed throughout the film, and how relieving the same day made him into a better person. It showed a lot of growth. There were lots of funny moments in this, as Bill Murray did an awesome job. I also liked the character Ned Ryerson, Stephen Bolowski. Any scene that he and Phil interacted in was great. Overall, I rate Groundhog Day a ten out of ten. I loved it. Ten out of ten. Best romantic comedy ever. Let's face it, everyone's a sucker for romantic comedies, but this one is something special. This movie has as much charm. As it has bite, thanks to a fantastic script and Murray's excellent performance, never dull or cheesy. This wonderful fantasy tale 
just hits all the right notes. And if anyone knows a better rom-com, please name it. I mean, what other romantic comedies are there where the protagonist commits suicide and you just have to laugh? I've watched Groundhog Day countless times, and without a doubt, I will watch it again and again, or for as long as I keep walking up to that nerve-wracking song by Sonny and Cher. Priceless. My vote: ten out of ten.